Hi everyone and welcome to LW1230 Business Law. My name is Paul Tilly and I'll be your instructor for this course. This course is about the legal environment of which business operates, okay? So it is focusing on key aspects of what we call business law. So if you think about law as being a pie with the larger items, you know, we think of many items within the law, we're looking at one slice of the pie. We're looking at the business section of that and how it relates to business. And, you know, there are a number of subtopics within that, but very important for business to understand. Okay, so what are we going to be doing in this course? Well, first of all, if you are a campus student, um, and if you're a DL student as well, I have or will offer online classes in this course. Now, these classes are scheduled to meet three times a week. So, for example, Monday mornings, 9.30 to 10.30, we'll be meeting. Wednesday mornings, 8.30 to 9.30. And Friday mornings from 9.30 to 10.30, we're meeting. So, those are the time periods. And this will be done on Teams. Now, if you can't attend those sessions, that's fine. I'm going to be recording all the new content. That don't mean I'm going to record every single session. That means if I'm covering new content, I'll be recording that and posting it in the news section of the course. So the news section of the course, if you, if you look at where you're watching this now, this is what I call the news section. It's like a list, like a Facebook feed, and I will be always adding stuff to that. So when you go into this course, the news is the first thing you see. If I've added anything new, you'll see it in there. Take a look at it, okay? Anything that I want to send out to you guys, I'm putting it there, okay? News. Okay, let's take a look next at um, the syllabus for this course, what I expect of it, okay? So we'll just hop to this. Now, so what I have here is a syllabus, and you will see that listed in your course content under course information. Okay, here's a summary. First of all, this course is intended to enable students to gain an understanding of the Canadian business legal system. So we're focused on Canada and we're focused on business law. Okay. Um, towards this, uh, this course will examine the fundamental principles of the Canadian legal system. We'll explore the Canadian legal system, torts, contract law, business law, employment law, and international business law. Everything uh, can be sliced up even smaller. So if we think about the business law as a pie piece, we, we're going to look at subdivisions of that piece, okay, in this course. So specifically, we're going to start off by talking about the Canadian legal system in broad, and that is, we're looking at the pie, and then we're going to start to focus more specifically on that piece of the pie and then subdividing the piece, okay? So here are the, the, the pieces. We're going to look at torts. Now, tort law, tort just means wrong. So we're going to look at the law of wrongs as, as it relates to business. So we're looking at torts. And then we're going to look at the law of contracts, which deal with agreements between parties. In order for business to work effectively in our country, we need a set of rules. And this set of rules is really known as contract law. How do businesses make agreements with one another, or people make agreements with one another, or businesses and people make agreements with one another that are enforceable by law? And what is it required, and why are they implications of those contracts. We're going to take a look at that. But we're also going to look at a business law as it relates to how businesses operate. So we're thinking about the Sale of Goods Act. We're thinking of things like how businesses are set up, these sorts of things within business law. We're also going to look at employment law. How do people get hired? What are the responsibilities of the employer? What are the responsibilities of the employee? What are some of the contractual obligations that employment law bring to the, to the market? And finally, we're going to take a little look at international law, which is doing business outside of Canada. What is the relationship there? So those are the six major components that we're going to be looking at. Now, the textbook for this course. The textbook is uh, the Canadian edition of Contemporary Canadian Business Law by Wiley. Now, I have the online link here, and you can buy the book online. I will also tell you that generally all introductory law books are pretty much the same. So uh, there are a number of very good law books out there that will cover exactly the same material. Okay? Just saying. Now, um, <clears throat> how is the course going to be evaluated? Let's take a look at that. Well, there are three evaluation points in this course. First of all, there's a, a case analysis. Now, the three evaluation points are actually uh, broad. So let's take a look at this case analysis and split it into three. I will be giving you, in, in this course, 
I will be giving you some cases in a couple of weeks' time as we move into the course. So in groups of three or less, you'll be responsible for analyzing three cases. And uh, this will occur through the term. They'll be distributed through the term as we look at the various topics, okay? Um, so what I want from you is each group will then be assigned, and you can do it in a group of three or less. So you can do it as one, or you can do it as three, or two, whatever. Um, write a short summary of the case. That's what I want in return, the deliverable. You're going to identify the parties involved in the case. You're going to determine what aspect of law the case is dealing with, specifically. Uh, you're going to underline and outline the arguments on both sides. So if you're a lawyer, let's be a lawyer for one side, be a lawyer for another side. You want to make sure you lay out the various arguments for that. And uh, to this, you'll need to raise points of law as well as precedent cases or previous cases that are similar to the one that we're dealing with and how it could impact the decisions of this one. And you're going to put this in a short, I'm using the word PowerPoint, but it could be a slideshow presentation. So what I want you to do is to be able to put it together as a, a presentation, okay? So your assignment is really a presentation to me in terms of outlining those elements that I'm asking for. And you're going to add that to the Dropbox. So as I say, there are three cases, or a total of 30%, so 10% each. There's also a midterm and a final. Now, the midterm... Um, will consist of two tests, actually. There's a test one and a test two. So we're, I've broken the midterm into two parts covering different sections. And effectively, those tests are going to be one hour and they're all multiple choice. Okay, so the midterm, the two midterms will be multiple choice tests. And finally, there is a final exam at the end uh, there in April. We're going to be doing that. It will consist of about 70% objective, 30% cases questions. So some combination of the two. We got two hours to do that one, a little bit longer for you to consider those issues. So that's how the course is going to be evaluated. Next, I'll take a look at the course schedule very quickly here, and I want to point out the key times here as opposed to the detail, okay? You can read the detail for yourself. You're going to see we're going to start off, we're going to talk about overview, we're going to talk about tort, then there's going to be a midterm. So the midterm is really, the first midterm is dealing with tort and that overview. That's what the first midterm is going to be dealing with. Then we're going to be talking about contracts, and on March 1st, uh, that week is a reading week, so we're off that week, just to make you aware of that. And then we're going to be talking about contracts again, and then we move into the second midterm. So the mid second midterm is really covering that contract section. Then we're going to be looking at business law and how business law relates in Canada and you know, sale of goods, these sorts of things. We're going to take a look at employment law. And we're going to take a look at... Uh, uh, how law, how businesses are organized in terms of the organization of businesses in terms of law. And then we're going to take a look at international law. And that kind of summarizes the course. And the final exam will kind of cover all of that. So there is a very quick overview of where we're going to be in this course. So if you have any questions, you let me know. Thanks for joining me here today. And let's enjoy the course. Let's get started.